Hello everybody and welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. To my knowledge, we're on to chapter four. Um, we're back at the mansion. We've just bought the camera from some creepy lady in a curiosity shop. And now we've cut to the future again. So let's see what's going on. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Okay, we're in the mansion again. Chapter 4, these walls have eyes. That's terrifying. Oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> Bad dream. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm. Are you okay? That's what anyone else would say. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand... oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? He's such a movie nerd. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't... I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris Film Collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. He's right. So, all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So listen, if Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Something tells me she's got the money to do just that. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? It definitely I is. Not to dwell on the past. Here, Frank Stone lies in Frank the film. Sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. Yes, I am. Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? Uh, what are you waiting for? I'm good here. What are you waiting for, mate? I want to look around. What are you waiting for? Hell yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I want to find another secret passage. Oh, now this is a real... Bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? It's creepy as hell. You all still got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Tell me about Augustine. How do you know about the murder mill? Let's be suspicious, because that's what we're all interested in right here. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about murder mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And 
further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but... When the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I... I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. <laughs> she got nervous. <laughs> so, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Yes, please. Okay, explore the atrium. That's where we are. A flashlight would be great. Can I look at any of this? No? She got a lot of creepy artwork, man. Like, that's terrifying. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. Huh. And a belt. Now that was a curious sound. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy. I know who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> okay. Sure. Interesting. Well, hello. Yeah. Like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. Is that? What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Sure. That's creepy. So, what was that like some form of, like, what is that? I don't even know what to make of that. It looks like vent override catalog stabilizes tuna. So she's making some form of technology somewhere in this bloody mansion. What's this one? Uh, the room that we were just in, the other other parts of the house. What's the one with no signal in it? I don't know if I could talk there, if something was meant to be said there. But that was also... This place would make an incredible film location. Yeah, it would. That's why it's a game. Okay, another creepy tree. Also probably in the intro. Dead flowers everywhere. Okay, we progress. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Uh... Did you know my mom? Hi, May's sister. A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Knew it. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very touching. This guy's a douchebag. Comforting, I'm sorry you had to go through that, or probing what about... Nah, let's, this isn't about Stan right now. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. So both of our parents are dead. Maddie appreciates your comforting words. Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Go on. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? 
Douchebag. information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Hmm. Yeah, he's a bit of a tosser, this one. In his pink pants. Whoa, this place is pretty, man. These things on this, the, like, claw-looking things, they're a sign, I'm telling you. That's got something to do with Augustine being a witch. So does this creepy, creepy, creepy mansion. But man, the detail is insane. It is absolutely beautiful. Cool statue. Mmm. Missing a piece, though. Yeah, he's meant to be holding something. I wonder what. So that is brought to our attention for a reason. What the wow. heck is that? Whoa. Quite a piece. It's missing a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. It's missing a piece. There's meant to be something in the middle. What does this say? The face of evil, the true Sensation story of Frank Stone. Trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Lloyd Kusich doesn't like the title hero. In Fall 63, Kusich was the local sheriff of Cedar Hills, a sleepy Oregon steel town. Just a regular blue collar Joe doing his darndest to make life a little safer for the folks who put their trust in him. But Cedar Hills was hiding a silent menace. A merciless monster preying on the unsuspecting citizens Kusich had sworn to protect. When the bodies start piling up, the only thing left was for an everyday hero to step up. This is the true account of how Cedar Hills first and only serial killer was brought to justice, told first hand by the man who dared to look evil in the eye and pull the trigger. He didn't even do it, it was Sam. The face of evil, the true story of Frank Stone, told by the man who stopped him, Sheriff Lloyd Kusich. It was not him. We saw it, guys, it was Sam. That fateful night, I had sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first choice, the flat foot was from out of state and a little green for my liking. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. So that was when we got the worker that was there to call the sheriff. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself. And there was Stone, standing on that platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. I'm not afraid to admit that I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost, so I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. You're such a liar. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab a piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubbernecks, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. I never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes, so to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Okay, is it just those two pages that we get? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Alright. So he is lying through his teeth. Because he wasn't even there by the time that Sam... There were suspicions that Frank Stone committed the crimes with the help of an accomplice. Incorrect. Incorrect. Not true. What's any of this? Is there a trinket around here? Looks like it opens with a key. Needs a key. Interesting. Trinket? Or is it just the trinket box again? And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Maddie girl, you good? Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Can I talk to you? I can't. I bet you she's talking to her mum in like a funny sort of way, just out loud. The way you do when you've lost someone. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? 
No, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. Why doesn't she just admit she's talking to her mom? talking to yeah. her mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. Sad. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Something I never told anyone else. No, we're not being curt. We're going to indulge in her because she just lost her mum. Her yeah. only mum that was left. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. No. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. Hmm. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Maddie is grateful to hear the memory. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Concerned they might be after the field strips. Augustine expected something like this. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. You just walked right in, be so for real. Maddie doesn't appreciate right. your suspicions. Um, so, do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right, so if you were going to have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. True. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. I don't think that we have to worry about that guy, to be honest with you. I think that he is the estate manager. Are we back in the past? Oh, things were just getting good in the present. Hmm, the phantom.
Alrighty guys, I am going to leave this part here. I know it's brief, um, but we did some exploring and there is someone creeping about in the night. But I have a funny feeling that we're about to jump to the past, unfortunately. Which means that we will not be finding anything out about what's going on for now. But I will see you in the next part where we go back to the past and hopefully find out what's going on with this movie. The Murder Mill um, that everyone keeps talking about and that everyone is so fascinated about. And what Linda seems to want to keep in the dark. As always, thank you so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next part. Bye!